okay hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i am consumer debt free currently saving up for my first home and trying to pay off my undergrad school loans this is going to be my paycheck breakdown it'll probably be a short one because i don't know we shall see but the um the stickers i'm using are from anna winwin on etsy um yeah this is an okay plans monthly planner i do have a discount code with her down below um if you want to use it save i think 20 per 10 percent 20 i forgot but i definitely have a link down below so i am budgeting my regular schmeckler doe paycheck i get no matter what i get a minimum of 1970 <clears throat> i'm a bi-weekly I am a month a bi monthly checker. I don't know what it's called. I get paid twice a month, no matter what. Um, yeah, I am a teacher for New York City one nine seven zero, and I'm only responsible for myself. Um, okay. Deco piece. Now we have my fix. I should be getting more money than I'm budgeting, but I never want to include that just in case it doesn't happen. So for my fixed expenses, we are doing first my housing, which is the most important. Housing is 700. What I'm really intrigued on is to how much this is going to change when I finally buy my place. Like, ooh, I know it's going to go up like a thousand. 1700 probably maybe even 2000 so i really want to know how i'm gonna fix that within my budget new york sports club will be six dollars because i froze it um pilates pilates is getting is it 136 what did i put here 156 i'm not sure if yeah, I guess so. Let's just do it. 150 cents. Is that what I do? I put five here. Uh, Alright, let's just see if that matches. I don't know if that's right. And then Apple Storage is getting $3. And that is it for my fixed expenses i'm gonna leave a space just in case i forget something um put my little deco piece and then my variable which is these numbers can change depending on my situation for the week to next the two weeks so first we're gonna do my cash envelope so i'm gonna put cash envelopes and i am doing my groceries and that gets 150 75 each week eating out gets 60 that's 30 each week and then laundry gets 10 which is five each week um and then we're gonna do my savings category so we have my home down payment which gets 540 to meet my goal my home essentials gets 100 to meet my monthly goal my moving which gets 250 and then i like to leave a leftover spot so let's see if this actually makes what it's supposed to make i don't know 700 plus 6 plus 156 plus 3 plus 150 plus 60 plus 10 plus 540 plus 100 plus 250 okay you see no i knew that was wrong 
So I'm five. So I think this is 151. Yeah, I think that's it. Minus five. Yeah, okay, now let's try. 700 plus six plus 151 plus three makes 860. Okay. Oh, I didn't put this. This is like a five minute video, guys. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to post this. It's so short. We'll see. Um, or you know what I could plan out? Um, my extra paycheck. That's another thing I forgot to do. Okay, so now we have 150 plus 60 plus 10 plus 540 plus 100 plus 250. That's 1,000. 100 so plus 860 makes my minimum that I'm supposed to get so that's that for this um okay extra paycheck I want to plan ahead to see how I'm gonna do that um Okay, planning ahead. So, let's get a planning ahead sticker, which I think they're in the back of my little Molson. Maybe not. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Let's see. They must be in this little thing then. Are they here? I swear, every time I think I, I'm organized, I'm not. Okay. Or maybe I am, but I just forgot. Yep, I found them. They were on the side of me, so planning ahead. I haven't done one of these in a minute. I feel like for an extra paycheck. <laughs> okay, so I am planning ahead because I technically already handed this in, which are my six hours. So that's why I'm planning it. Um, these, where are you? These six hours that I worked, I already handed it in to get paid. So I want to plan that. Um, I'm planning ahead. I want to leave space so I can plan ahead other things. Six hours. And I am going to do by the bare minimum I get paid per hour be when tax is already taken out and everything else. Which is 38 per hour. So 38 times 6. Ugh. 38 times 6. Oh, that's so little. That's so sad. Okay, that's $228. I did that by doing 38 times 6. Oh, why did I think it would be so much more? It's not. Okay. Um, so. Tax is already taken out of this. So, I'm going to do 10% to emergency fund, which I'm just going to say is $20. And then 10% to holiday, which is another 20, so that's 40. Then I have to do 5% to travel, which is 10. Now I'm left with 178. Okay, that is where my savings challenge binder comes in. So I'm going to put this to the side. Move that a little bit. Okay, so... I want to get ahead like I've been doing with my savings challenge. I want to do the big one since I have more money. So I'm going to do savings challenge. That's sinking fund. Oh. I'm going to do savings challenge of July 
And I'm going to do the big number, which is 75. So that's minus 75 is 103. One of my monthly goals, not really a monthly, but like a little a goal that I wanted to do, which are like my mini, mini goals, which are on this side right here, was to give household 40 and be day another 50 to make the 90. So let's see if I can do that. Household. Sorry. Household will get 40. So right now, household I think has 100. 20, 40, 50, 80, 100. Yep. And I have not used that. I do want to buy hangers, but we'll see. And then I think it's birthday. I want to do 50. So minus 40. Now we have 50. So B day. I want to do B day 50. And that's 13. Okay. And then I think I'm going to do the 13 as allowance. Can I do anything with self care? Can I do a 10? Do I have any 10s left over? I don't. I could do half a tub. Half a tub. Um. No, let's just give it to a, my allowance. And then, yeah, because, like, I know I'm going to spend money. <gasps> That's stuck. Yeah, I'm going to give it to allowance. So, I think allowance, I'm going to give you 13. And that should make 228. So, let's see, 20. 20 plus 10 plus 75 plus 40 plus 50 plus 13 makes 228 now this is like the lowest i've been getting 40 per hour times six so it could be 240 you know that's another 20 bucks now if it's another 20 bucks then i am going to give it to self-care because i can give those it'll make enough to make a thing you know uh, okay, so yeah, guys, that's that. I'm gonna plan out that money. I am gonna be working extra every day, I believe, except for Mondays and Fridays, but we'll see. So, and then I am doing summer school, speaking into the universe, so I'll be able to do finish up this early. But I'll also be able to start my second one, which is this one that I got from Simple Shop, which is her box. I also have her 5,000, but that's like more scary for me in terms of the numbers. So this one, this challenge I'm doing for a school year. So it will be July to June. So I'll be still doing this one, but... This one will be for one year, so at end of 2022, I'll unstuff this, and then in June, I'll unstuff this of 2023, or 2024, no, 2023. No, it's actually probably going to be, yeah, yeah, 2023, I'm bugging, but yeah, guys, that's the plan for, that was also a motivation for me working summer school, was because I wanted to start this box challenge. is it for this video is there anything else that i have not updated you on no that is it oh i should have gave nespresso money next time okay hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please comment like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye